So in this vlog, it's uh, going to be something a little bit different. Uh, I've not been able to get out all week to do any vlogs uh, because I've got gout on my big toe and I've been in pain. So yeah, I've been stuck in the house all week while the weather's just been fantastic, which is typical. So what I thought I'd do in this video is put something together more towards uh, people who are starting out in photography and are trying to learn something about landscape photography settings. So I put a little video up here to try and help beginners understand settings for landscape photography. Uh, but I do recommend first you learn about the exposure triangle. Uh, there's enough information on YouTube about that. So uh, yeah, so uh, what I've done here is put a little video together which explains my settings for landscape photography. When you go out to a location and you come across a composition that you think might work, take your time and work out how you want this composition to become an image. Now for myself, I always shoot in manual mode and always shoot in RAW, as RAW files are much bigger and hold more information than JPEGs. And that allows you so much more freedom in the editing process. Now aperture is very important in landscape photography as we tend to want everything to be in focus from back to front. So we mostly go for something like F8 up to F16 or in some cases F22. So for this image, I was uh, in a sort of secret quarry. I was looking for a secret lake in Chamberis, Snowdonia. Um, after clambering down to the location, uh, what I had in mind was a nice wide shot and probably a panoramic shot. So with a shot in mind here, I was going to stitch it about six times um, across. And um, because I had nothing in the foreground in this shot, it allowed me to put the aperture down to f11 so that would give me a fairly uh, nice sharp image so when i shot this image my settings were at f11 iso 100 at 1 30th of a second uh, six stitch pano and uh, i got this beautiful shot of the uh, secret lake ISO is also important in landscape photography. The higher the ISO, the more noise creeps into your images. So your base ISO is the lowest you can select on your camera. For most cameras, it's ISO 100. So your base ISO will produce the least amount of digital noise. In this vlog, I was looking for a nice waterfall shot with Trevan in the background. So I headed down to the Ogwen Valley and uh, up the Avon Hoir. Now that area is very boggy, so if you ever decide to go out there, I do recommend you take waterproof boots or wellingtons as uh, it's extremely boggy there, especially in the winter. When I came across these falls here, I uh, focused uh, to the waterfall uh, which was a third of the way in. I went at f16 so uh, everything there from back to front was in focus. So my settings to get this shot was f16 at 1 8th of a second ISO 100. So here is a good example of when I want to shoot at f22 simply just to get a starburst effect on the sun. So what I did here on these monolithic stones is I waited for the sun just to drop behind the tree, uh, put my settings to f22 and it gave me that nice starburst effect. Yeah. 
In this vlog I went out to look for these secret waterfalls, uh, which I was quite impressed when I found them. I don't usually use filters most of the time when shooting uh, waterfalls. If the area is dark then I'll use no filters, because uh, I only want an exposure reading of a second to half a second. So in this shot here, I uh, again uh, focused a third of the way in so at f16, so it was uh, focused all the way through which gave me an exposure time of half a second to get effect, to get the effect on the water that I wanted for this shot. On this evening, I was down at Dinastinja uh, looking for a nice sunset shot. While walking on the beach, I came across this uh, boulder of rock, which really mirrored the uh, mountain in the background, which I found very interesting. Uh, my intentions to get this shot was obviously to shoot at f16 so I could have everything in focus but I accidentally uh, got the settings wrong because the sun was in the uh, camera I uh, couldn't see the settings properly uh, I thought I was f16 but I was at f5.6 so with this image I took at a 1 25th of a second with an aperture of f5.6 you can see that the pebbles are really focused in the foreground as you uh, look to the rock it sort of gets less sharp and right at the background it's uh, pretty soft um, so yeah so that's a kind of an example of taking a landscape shot at f5.6 even though it sort of works so as you can see i rarely shoot on a wide aperture unless i'm shooting something like intimate photography like this for example where i've uh, noticed this tree with a branch sort of looks like it's hugging each other which i found interesting so i went down to something like f6 f6 uh focused on the branch there and uh, softened the background there so the focus there was at the center uh so i only go down um when i'm doing something like intimate photography so i hope i've uh, shown you across this video um the different uh, apertures and settings I use in landscape photography. So there you go, uh, just a little video which I hope helps. Uh, so mainly I shoot at an aperture from f9 up to f16 22 as a landscape photography and I only really shoot wide at more intimate photography uh, shots like I've uh, explained in the video. So I really hope that this video has sort of given you an insight and helped you out a little bit. Like I said before, check out the exposure triangle uh, and figure out how it works. Um, so that's it really. Uh, if you're interested in any one-to-one -one workshops, I do one-to-ones in Snowdonia, Anglesey, you know. Um, just drop me a message on Facebook or on my Instagram page and... Uh, I'll give you the details there if you're interested in the one-to-one. -one. So, uh, yeah, uh, once again, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, I'll see you next week. Hopefully, I'll be out vlogging. Bye.